What's up? How are you guys today? We're doing something a little different. We are here at Boucherie, New York City, doing a little what I would eat at a restaurant vlog. And this is actually a restaurant that we reviewed on Best Burger Reviews, one of the best burgers in New York City. And uh, overall, they have you know a pretty good food quality and stuff that I've been able to eat even on my very restrictive diet. So let's go inside, have a seat at the bar, and uh, spend way too much money on lunch. So I came here because I thought I was going to be able to have a steak sandwich, but they only serve that on the weekends, and I just missed that last time. Um, I did have a burger when I came the other day with just plain onions and fries on the side, but it was still a little fatty. So uh, instead, what I'm going to have today is steak tartare, which is usually always okay for appetizer. It's just lean beef, and then I'm going to do just the filet mignon with some fries on the side. And I mean, guys, yeah, the prices are a little crazy, but in New York to get decent quality stuff, that's kind of what you had to pay. So when I came a few weeks ago, I had frog legs appetizer, a plain burger for entree, some fries on the side. It was just way, way, way too much fat, just way too much. So today we're going to do the steak tartare, which is much leaner than those frog legs, which are like fried in butter. And then uh, the steak entree with fries on the side is going to be a lot less fatty than like all that bread that soaked up all the butter and um, the really fatty burger meat, so that's kind of what we're trying to do. I mean, in French restaurant is the best to do low fat, but that's kind of what we're trying. Yeah, so I usually stay away from seafood, but you know, once in a while it's not that bad. So, you know, out of all these appetizers, the only thing that is reasonably low in fat is the, the steak tartare. You know, escargot, ton of butter, soup, ton of cream and butter. Uh, maybe the soup of the day would have been okay. It depends on what it is. Pate is basically pure fat. We don't do salad. We don't do salad. Fries are always nice. Um, there are always concerns about like the, the seed oils and what they're frying them in, but as long as you don't have them more than once a week, it's okay. The mushrooms on the side would be good too. Um, that's not a bad choice, but probably a lot of butter. And then usually when I go out, I'll have steak frites almost the entire time. Steak and french fries is always a safe bet. Mashed potatoes might actually be not as bad because they don't use um, the seed oils to fry them, but I really like french fries and you, know, you can kind of make mashed potatoes at home, but you can't do french fries at home. All these sandwiches, it's like cheese and butter. It's just way too fatty. Plain burger isn't that bad of a choice. And then all this other stuff is either seafood or really fatty. I guess uh, beef bourguignon, if it was with white potatoes, would be an okay choice too. Yeah, ravioli, a lot of dairy, fat, eggs. Don't really want this stuff. Uh, we did get bread and butter, which... I usually do have because just you know a little bit of butter on dry bread isn't that much fat and the bread is really one of the only things you're going to be served in the restaurant that's going to be relatively low fat obviously you don't want to drink the tap water but today i'm having a lager uh, that's the beer i usually like so i'll either have beer or cider sometimes wine um, if I really don't want to drink anything, I'll order like a bottle of uh, just Pellegrino or something. But if you guys missed the healthiest alcohol video that we did like a few months ago, I basically went over saying like, you know, a decent beer is one of the healthiest things you can drink. At least from like an alcohol perspective, but the natural wines are okay, cider's okay beer is okay for the most part this is uh, Kronenberg which is a German lager so I like never get hangovers I never feel anything when I uh, when I have like two or three and it's definitely a whole lot healthier than the New York City tap water so we just got the tartare which is a lot of meat I didn't really have time to have the bread and butter maybe we'll have that in a little bit this is just grilled bread which is nice sometimes like they don't give you that much bread with tartare or it's like really really fatty bread with a lot of oil but this is perfect I might skip the quail egg yeah I mean like if I wasn't filming a vlog I'd have time to have the bread and butter but... yeah steak tartare is always one of my favorite things it's a lot of work to prep yourself you know they have the beef nicely diced up and cubed here perfectly mixed with all the ingredients this is a lot of meat <laughs> it's like eight ounces of raw beef very good though. Usually I like to have the bread and butter in my stomach before having so much protein. Yeah, so the main reason we're filming this is because I filmed like a whole day of eating yesterday 
and the files got corrupted or something, so. Take two. I kind of wanted to like try all the state car cars in the city, but we're moving soon and I do not have time. Normally I get like a strip steak or ribeye for dinner instead of a filet mignon, but if I'm having steak tartar, it's just a lot of protein, so I wanted a smaller steak. No, I should have got the small. This is definitely tartar for like two people. I mean, there's some tarragon in here too. I don't really like tarragon, but it's not that much. It was like the perfect time to come. It's like three o'clock. Tartar is pretty good. I felt obligated to eat all of it. Ran the price. So now I'll have some bread and butter. Yeah, I mean, I don't like get to go out to eat that much, but when I do find like a place or a restaurant that has like stuff that I can eat with all my dietary restrictions, I tend to just go to the same places. The butter looks pretty good. It's not just like regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a lager. Can, you, can they wait a few minutes on the steak? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. So there's not that many downsides to the restaurant butter usually. Maybe it's a little inflammatory, but I've never really reacted to it. The other dairy products, though, like milk and a lot of cream, and sometimes can be an issue. And the bread, obviously, is not organic, but even though the amount of negative stuff that can be in bread is kind of minimal compared to other foods. So although the you know, restaurant bread and butter might not be the highest quality from like an inflammatory perspective, it's not nearly as bad as like the fried foods and some of the lower quality animal proteins like pork and chicken. Now for the beer, You're not going to like overload your liver with alcohol just from the the percentage perspective and then in regards to how they make it you know it's kind of like a natural fermentation there's some b vitamins in there that help like counteract the um the negative effects of the alcohol but beer cider lager generally the healthiest thing you can drink at a bar. You know you're staying somewhat hydrated, you're getting some B vitamins. You're not killing your liver with super high alcohol percentage. I look so tired, I did not sleep that well. Yeah, so most places aren't really gonna have like a super extensive organic or biodynamic wine or like organic cider selection. So if you do find a place that does, might not actually have like food and other stuff that that fits the bill but you know new york there's so many places you can go to like one restaurant if you want some appetizers and beer another place for the entree but that's so you can kind of bounce around a little bit if you do find some places you like but it is a lot more convenient you know you find a place like this to um to do everything so this is our entree we got filet mignon truffle butter onions this is like a perfect perfect entree normally it comes with like a spinach puree but i told them not to do that because you know we don't want spinach we don't want vegetables um but you know onions are good on my diet filet mignon is of course lean red meat so that's good on my diet and then the truffle butter eh, butter's not the end of the world truffle butter. it's okay it's such a small amount and then the <laughs> the culprit of this meal we definitely won't be having the ketchup very high in flavonoids, carotene, don't want the ketchup. But the french fries, usually fried in vegetable seed oils, is the issue. I mean, I enjoy these so much, and I can't make them at home myself, so. Um, I like having these like once a week. Yeah, I mean, if there's like one reason that I go out to restaurants, it's for french fries. Because I'm not about to have a vat of coconut oil in my kitchen. And I'll be like peeling and cutting potatoes all day. a little more salt but still good this is actually like pretty big fly i thought it was gonna be smaller that's uh it's definitely 
I ordered medium rare, but this is like blue rare, which is fine, I don't mind. But um, if I was a normie, I would definitely not approve of the, uh, the, <laughs> the rock stack. That's pretty good. The filet is so tender. Grain fed filet mignon. Look, grain, grain fed beef isn't that bad. Your tits will just grow a little bit. But, you know, if you're eating like, raw goat testicles once a week, you'll be fine. I do feel like a, a geriatric eating filet mignon, though. The only problem with the fries is they're crispy and good for like five, ten minutes, but then not even fast. So normally you would want to get like beer in a bottle because glass on draft. Obviously it's like rinsed with the regular water, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it kind of is, but... This is um, this is visual proof of a uh, business expense for the IRS. <laughs> uh, marketing consultation services. I think I'm joking. You guys know we did a. Uh, I think we did a video on potatoes a few months ago too about how they're like the healthiest carbohydrate. A lot of minerals, great source of starch, fiber, everything. French fries, eh. Yeah. A bit of vegetable seed oils. Not the best idea. I don't know, maybe I'm used to like Frankie's greens meat, high quality salt. Cause this definitely needs more salt. But maybe like, maybe they used to put a lot of salt and then people complained that it was too much salt. Fucking geriatrics. So I was, I was like full ass with the car car. You guys like the elevator music? Probably won't get copyrighted. See guys, all we're missing is some 5 foot 11 Russian girl, you know, that I paid to beat me up later. That's all we're missing. Or Ukrainian, you know. I am uh, I am open-minded. Could even get her some Russian vodka. They have it. I feel obligated to eat this because it's a little expensive. And by little expensive, I mean, you know, I was gonna like blow my brains out and move to Mexico, so who cares how much money I spent on lunch, right? Who fucking cares? I'm about to buy like a fucking 24 carat gold condom and shake around $200,000 on my dick. See, I'm like. I'm like the funniest person in New York, 100%. My creativity goes beyond health products. Yeah, like why aren't, why isn't one girl of every ethnicity snorting illegal substances off my penis every night? Like, it surprises me, it surprises me that it's not happening. It really does, it really does, honestly, 100%. Like it's more believable that that would be happening than that it wouldn't be happening. Whatever. I can't believe I'm actually gonna finish this for I was full after the trip. I look so fucking tired. Whatever. I should have gone to the Well, what's the title of this video? Petite Italian boy chokes on. 16 ounces of meat. I'll get more views. 
done? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll take a look at the dessert menu. So this is a real reason I came here. I have a dessert I can actually eat. You guys still have the pineapple coconut bullshit, right? He didn't hear me. I have one, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From apple, right? Huh? Yeah, from apple. What? What kind of dessert is it? I'm sorry. Tarte noir de coco. The, 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 <laughs> the, um, it's, it's the coconut cream with the pineapple and the, and the tart, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So normally I can't have desserts because it's like all dairy and shit, but this is probably has some dairy in it, but it's at least coconut cream and like pineapple. I'll show you guys the menu. Yeah, so creme brulee is like all egg yolks and cream, that's out. Another creme brulee, that's out. Fresh bread, shoe pastry. That's a lot of butter. Praline cream. It's all dairy. Like, I don't know. This might not be that bad. Paris breast, but it's still a lot of butter and cream. Chocolate's no good. I'll be awake for three days. This is what we're having: coconut cream, pineapple, peach gel. This is. I've, I've had this a few times. I like this a lot. It's like the only dessert in New York City I've ever been able to eat. Flan is just egg yolks and cream again. Profiteroles. It's. It, it's it's ice cream, I can't eat that. Ice cream and sorbet. Sometimes actually, I will have lemon sorbet. If a restaurant has lemon sorbet, I'll usually have it, but a lot of the time it's not that good. Let me actually get some of the lemon sorbet too, just to try it. Bro, this is gonna be fucking $200 lunch. $200 lunch, fucking whatever. I'm like, when I have like a trillion dollars, I won't care that much. But this place, Barbunia, this is an Israeli restaurant, really good lemon sorbet there. But then I had like lemon sorbet at a few other places, it wasn't that good. Also, sorbet is probably like one of the desserts you want to avoid the most because the water they use for it is just like regular New York City water. So from like a liver health perspective, Sorbet is good, but from an overall health perspective, it's not that great. Not that great. But, I mean, I'm fucking sitting here drinking three beers, telling you guys what's healthy and what's not. <laughs> Grain of salt aside. Yeah, so, dude, I had my mechanic at the car yesterday. An Uber from the Bronx to Westchester was $80. $80, $80 dude. For eight dollars, you can get like a Latino girl from the Bronx to play with you. I don't know. Maybe I need to start looking into how to print money. Yeah. So if you guys want more Frank day drinking and a restaurant content uh, for every two hundred dollars sent to me, I will do it. I mean, we're moving out of this EMF hellhole in a few months, so I guess you guys are gonna be shit out of luck. All right, boys. You have another business expense: lemon sorbet and the coconut cream dessert so most of the time i go out i don't actually have dessert because they don't have lemon sorbet or something on their menu but this is some type of like coconut cream dessert with a lot of lemon some pastry so overall you know i'm assuming that the amount of dairy in this isn't that high i've actually had this like two times so far and i haven't like had any digestive issues with it and lemon sorbet i always do but Again, the water, tap water stuff, what was using it is the concern. Yeah, the fat content of this coconut dessert is probably a little high, so not the best thing to be having. Yeah, so this is like coconut cream, tart, probably just like a ton of uh, coconut cream, a little bit of cream, dairy cream, sugar, and lemon. This is really good. It's like the third time we have this. It's like it's kind of crazy because, like, if I had my own restaurant, adhering to my dietary restrictions, this would be like the only dessert you could have. These are all foods I normally have in my diet: pineapple, coconut oil. Like, fits in really well. Those few weeks ago when I went here. I asked the bartender if the pastry chef was a male or a female. Unfortunately, it was a male, so I did not ask for their number. Although, what's the chance it was like some cute femboy pastry chef, you know? 
Maybe I should have asked. I might actually vomit on the way to my car. I need like 200 grams of Masticom ASAP. Yeah, just a napkin, please. You can give me the, um, yeah, you can give me the check, though. Yeah. See, I told you guys, it's gonna be like 20% tip, 200. See, these New York City restaurant prices, like, I'm gonna have to sell one of the tires off my car before we drive by. The only downside of lemon sorbet is it takes so long to eat. Not enough sugar in this. Not really that sweet, but I guess that's what the um, the almond mom's like now, right? You guys don't know what an almond mom is? It's like an older lady that makes her husband shove an almond into his urethra. No, no, no. It's like some anorexic older lady, I don't know. Actually, I forgot a lot of these um. Most of these restaurants don't have a sorbet machine, so it's usually not made in-house. It's usually like some frozen sorbet they buy. But, um, that's it guys, so thanks for joining. Hopefully I've kept you mildly entertained, and this was a nice change of pace. Granted, the video files don't get corrupted like they did yesterday. Now we'll have to send them into like the FBI to, uh, fix them but you guys can go to frankdishtomorrow.com if you'd like to check out all my other social media pages and all of my interesting businesses so now maybe when you uh, go out to eat if you're traveling whatever you have an idea of what you should be having but as usual if you guys can please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and I will see you guys soon. Hopefully I won't be uh, panhandling on the streets of New York City. They put up the plaque. I'm not supposed to be back here. This is like the hostess stand. But, best break reviews.